Hi, my name is Lisa and I'm here at the Children's Museum of Brownsville. And today's theme, all the theme for the month, is all about Dr. Seuss. So we're going to be doing some crafts with Dr. Seuss related, and then we're going to be doing some science experiments as well. For today, we're going to be doing this really cool science experiment you guys can do at home with your parents or also as a science experiment for your classroom. And what we're going to make is slime. So I know a lot of people, a lot of boys and girls, you know, when you go to the store, you like to go with your parents and be like, oh, I like that slime and everything. Well, today, you guys get to make it at your own house. And you know what? It's really fun and it's really, really easy. So let's go ahead and begin. For slime, we're going to be needing a big, large bowl, just like this. We want to try to get a big one because we're going to try to make a lot of slime, you know? So you, just in case you want to share with your parents and everything. Our second item we're going to need is one cup. It could be any clear cup, a green cup. I just chose this one because this is my favorite color. Next, we're going to be needing about one cup of water. I use a measuring cup right here so I can know exactly how much water I'm going to be needing for today. Next, I'm going to be needing two spoons, and I'll explain this one in one second. We're going to be mixing one item and then for the second one. Some food coloring. It could be any color, once again. It could be green, red, purple. I chose yellow, because yellow, I like yellow a lot. So I think it'll look really cool. And some measuring spoons. These, you can find them, I'm pretty sure your mom or your dad has them around the kitchen. And you know, we're just gonna use one of them, which is one teaspoon, but it's okay if we have the other ones. Some glue. This is the most important part of the ingredient, so it could be either regular glue or clear glue. We're gonna use borox. Now borox you can find in HUB, at Walmart, in any of your local grocery stores. And it's kind of also using like for laundry. So maybe some of your parents can use it. But for, the, for today, we're gonna use it to do some slime. And we're gonna need some goggles because when we're making any science experiment, we have to protect our eyes. And remember, we're gonna be some scientists today. So as doing by scientists, we get to experiment, so nothing really has to be really, really perfect because scientists don't really get all the ingredients the first time around, right? And of course, some adult supervision. Boys and girls, always make sure if you're making any crafts, any activity, to always have your parents there. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. So we're gonna go ahead and begin by using our safety goggles and we're gonna put them on. Kinda look goofy, but it's a lot of fun. Next, we're gonna get our big bowl and we're going to put about half a cup of water into the bowl. So I'm gonna put half a cup. I remember I already have one cup in here. So I'm just gonna be measuring it like that until I get into that one half that says right there. We're gonna set it aside and we're gonna get our measuring spoons. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of different measurings. There's one for teaspoons and there's tablespoons and you're wondering, hmm, what's the difference? So the, bit, the difference basically is when it says TBS, P, that means tablespoon. That's a little bit larger as you can tell right here. What we're looking for today are the teaspoons, which is going to be labeled TSP. Teaspoon. See the difference right there? It's quite a little bit larger. So we're gonna put this one aside right here and we're gonna use a tablespoon. Now, we're gonna open our borox and very carefully, we're gonna get one full teaspoon of borox and we're gonna put it into the water just like that. Next, we're gonna get our spoon and we're gonna mix it. We're gonna wanna mix the borox and the water until it becomes until the borax becomes invisible. So we're just gonna mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. It's kinda like cooking, but cooking with science. There you go. We're gonna set it aside, and we're just gonna put it right over here. Next, we're gonna get one cup, one and a half cups of water. We're gonna mix it in our cup, just like that. And we're gonna set that aside. And then next, we're gonna get the glue. We're gonna open the glue. I suggest you open the glue from the very, very bottom, just like that, because we're just gonna use all the glue in this experiment. So I wanna put it all of it in there. Just like that. It's gonna take a little while, but you just wanna squeeze it all out. After you're done, 
You just want to set this one aside with the materials we're not using anymore. And it's time to put the food coloring. We want to put a couple of drops, but if you want to make it really dark, you can put as much drops as you want. I'm just going to squirt some in there, you know. We don't have to be perfect. We're just going to experiment for a little while. There you go. Set this aside. And then we get our other spoon, and then we're going to mix it. So we're going to mix this until the glue and the food coloring and the water is all mixed all together. So like I said before, this is all kind of like cooking, but it's just so much fun. There you go. So it's kind of look something like that. It's going to look all liquidy. And you know what? Let's put a little bit more food coloring. I want mine to be a little bit darker. There you go. And there's no wrong way you can go with this. So we're just going to mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. There you go. And it's going to look like that. All watery. Now you guys are ready? We're going to set the spoon aside. And then, this is the fun part. We're going to put the glue the water and the food coloring we have in the cup into the large bowl that has borax and the other half of water. And we're just going to put it all together and see what happens. We're going to dip our hands. So this is the cool part, you know. And if you have any jewelry or anything, maybe we can take it off because we're going to get a little bit messy. So we're just going to take it off. And I'm ready. You guys ready? We're going to get it and... It forms into slime. To so see, by forming these two items, the borax, the water, and the glue, it kind of forms like a substance. And what that means is, by creating everything together, it forms this really icky little slime. You guys can find at stores, you know, and you guys buy them. But now, you guys can use it, and you guys can make it at your very own home. See? And it's a lot of fun, too. And you know, Parents can help you or your brothers and sisters and you know, you can just play with it all around and then when you're done, you can also put it in a zipper bag or in a little cup and then save it for later. And it's a lot, a lot of fun. So this is a really quick and really easy science experiment you guys can do at home. Parents, it's really easy if you want to do for science fair or anything like that or you know, it's just a fun time to spend with your children as well. For more ideas, for more crafts, more videos that we have, you're more than welcome to visit our website at www.cmofbrownsville.com. There you can find me with more science experiment videos, or you can find more crafts that we do here at the Children's Museum of Brownsville. Thank you for watching again. My name is Lisa. Bye.